Zip cups to the ceiling if you're sick of feeling ripped off I let my fist start, get lit and lift off Raise your hands if you with me and you pissed off I'm standing on the corner of 6th Street I'm running out of time for this week My head's pounding, stomach shaking It's worth it, the hunger makes it all right hey everybody it is me it is bb thiefy and we are back tonight we are going to hit the gamecube era and it is going to be vex um yeah i don't know a overwhelming wealth about this game I'm trying to think i remember uh, vex being something from uh my childhood that i remember seeing in a nintendo power uh, at one point, it's like a, 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 oh, hey, this is coming into the GameCube, because the GameCube's being released. Uh, it looked cool, it looked interesting, I never actually saw it on shelves, I don't remember. I think maybe once when I was a kid, uh, I actually saw it on the shelf, and... I don't know, the GameCube had so many good games that I just couldn't, uh... It wasn't something that I was planned on being bothered with. There, there was so many Zelda games and everything else to play that, you know, uh, I couldn't really find the time, so... Oh shit. So this oh, damn. This definitely has some of the great GameCube uh, character design and animation that we love so much. And there you go. Well, wrong with that. The talents bound themselves to him forever, and his fate to that of all a star. That runs you right into it, doesn't it? Like, I, you, I would be surprised if you told me that Rare wasn't involved in this in some way, given the character design and everything. Well, that's good to know. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, I'm kind of on a kick right now where I'm looking into some of these more obscure platformers that came out. Um, you know, I want to take a swing at the Kolo uh, Klonoa series. I want to take a swing at the Shanti series. Um, oh, God. Alright, trying a little Mario 64 controls there for the long jump. Uh, first hold down the L button to crouch. And it's kind of like the flip, but not quite. Yeah, I mean, um, Rayman is another one. Uh, today I found uh, Tonic Trouble at uh, the local game store, um, which I didn't pick up today, but I'm going to at some point. Uh, once you're underwater, you can swim by holding the R button. Okay, apparently...
Apparently swimming is going to be a big thing in this, because why else would you show me so quickly? Uh, but yeah, th these are some of the games that I'm interested in trying. Uh, Sprocket, Robot on Wheels, uh, 3D platformers, and just general platforms. Like I say, Kaloa, Shanti. So far, this game controls pretty good. It's, uh, you know, um... Ooh. Anything to write home about? Maybe not, but you know, it's a little, a little tight for uh, our first kind of no borders area. But I think once we get to some actual gameplay and level design, we might be uh, into something pretty decent. There's a wraith heart. Each one of these contains vital essence of a shadow wraith. Okay. Shards. So we have to collect a hundred of these things, I'm guessing, and then... Ooh, nifty! Soldiers! Souls of Fallen Estani warriors are imprisoned within these. Why collect stars when you can collect beating hearts of your enemies? Ah, back among the living, I see. You're a stout one, aren't you? When I found you, I thought you're dead, so I brought you here. Is that Brian Cox? This chamber is where demons will destroy what little remains yeah. of a This definitely follows in that family of Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Crash Bandicoot. Some of the great, uh... I know I'm mentioning a lot of non-Nintendo characters there, but... That's the kind of art style that I'm seeing. I know an old trick. I can talk to you like this. Head on outside. I can get you started on your way. All right, let's go, Angry Pants. I mean, he controls well. I'm I'm looking forward to getting to a little bit more meat here. Just a smidgen. Oh yeah. Welcome to Timberdale, Vex. Scattered throughout this land, there are four precious wraith hearts. You must collect them to power up the central gate and progress to the next land. Makes sense. The first wraith heart is found here. You must traverse to the top of the giant tree to collect it. Let's traverse the weird. Oh, clearly that was an enemy. <laughs> Hopefully it was an enemy. Oh, hello. Where are you? Look at me go. Nice. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't know. All I know is I can explore already. Pretty decently, actually. What's wrong with this? Who means? Ow. Fuck. Enemy design's pretty good. Can't complain about that. Ooh, nifty. Day night mechanics, that's kinda neat. Yeah, no, hey, shit. Let's get over here. <laughs> Daisy. I like it, it gives you this kind of like a little free form. Oh, fuck. Flame headed fuck. Demonic little shit. Anyways, let's get out of here. Bring it on. 
All right, not bad. Not bad. Wraiths are like cockroaches. Nearly impossible to kill. Even if you do kill one. I swear that has to be Brian Cox. Another beating heart of my enemy. Well, so far, like, I like this game. It's pretty cool. I probably would have played the hell out of this if I got one when I was a kid. The hearts are still full of energy that can be used to power the gates. Go ahead and put the heart into the portal in front of you. Interesting. Once you put enough hearts into the portal, you'll be able to open the rift to new locations. Get to it, lad. Every moment that passes brings that devil one step closer to reopening the door to the shadow world. All right, so that's that's Vex, I guess. Um, I'm not going to spend much more time on than that, uh, mostly because I could get lost and play play this game for a long fucking time. Uh, this is kind of going to go on my hidden gems list, and I definitely want to play more of this. Uh, this is on my list of, like, like I was saying, this is on my list of games like Rayman, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank that I really want to play because they're kind of, they're really good platformers. Great character design and great story. So, we are going to come back to Vex again someday in the future. Be sure to check out the Is That All podcast for all of your geek news. You can find us anywhere you can stream and download podcasts, and find us on social media at Is That All Pod. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me grow and lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out there. You can find me everywhere on social media at BBTP. Be sure to check out more videos, especially more complete or delete.